Okay guys, and I'm back. So since last time, we gathered up some materials, went to some corners of the floor, and got myself a new sword and had to retreat because Gunyel wanted to be fancy. So, there we go. Let's head back in there and explore the little side spots we weren't able to get- Well, we, we didn't do anything with before. And that FOE is just going to sit there until I decide to kill it. So, up here. Just one? Alright. Let's just auto. And a lock pin. Could always use more of those. Okay, but yeah, there's a reason that I didn't go over here before. <coughs> um. Well. I'm putting that preemptively there, because that is what is there, but you'll see. I'm probably going to have to actually avoid this, way. I'm going to just add it to my map. As you walk, you catch a glimpse of something shining in a tree just off the path. You crane your neck to see a hole in the tree just above your reach. It's difficult to tell, but it seems that a gleaming jewel is inside the hole. Excuse me. A jewel like that would make a worthy souvenir of this trip. Reach towards it. Guardian reaches into the hole and gropes around. Suddenly, a piercing shriek emanates from the hole. You can now clearly see an animal glaring at you. It seems to have nested here. Guardian grabs a shining gem and pulls it out before jumping down from the tree. But now is not the time to gloat over your prize. The beast will attack at any moment. Take your weapon in hand and fight. Obtain gel core. And we have three of these. You'll see why. <laughs> that they're not good to fight. Um, defend. Let's see if we can get the poison off. That'll be useful. Okay, we got two of them. Oh, we killed it instantly. Even better. But yeah, they do insane amount of damage. So, insane. Insane amount. And that web will randomly seal off your body parts, so that's not fun. I'm actually su kind of surprised we're surviving this. Alright, there we go. So three small nails, and I'm going to get Gunnail and Crossell back up to snuff there. I'm really quite surprised we survived. So what I'm going to do is equalize their experience, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, and I'm back. I could not equalize it correctly, because enemies don't give you one or two at a time. They give you like 80 or 70 at a time. So I got them within 10, which is as close as they're going to get. So... Yeah. Let's sell all that stuff that I... So the small nails, get some snail whip and a steel pin. Long pin, didn't get us anything. Husk shards and the gel core. Now, we want a couple of steel pins here. Uh, one for them. One for them. You already have one. You could just use it for the defense. You can use it for your Kubiuchi. Okay, I think that should be good. Oh. Leaf boot, because you're kind of slow. Alright. So let's save up. Oh, and I found a little event. I'm not going to uh, tell you what it is, because I'll just go there myself. I finished mapping out the little room in the FOEs, but I didn't kill it, so it's still there. And my goodness, it took forever to fight just a single enemy to equalize that. Ugh. Way longer than I had to. Okay. Seems slower than it should be. Anyway, as you proceed to the labyrinth, you see a guard approaching. Hey, how are you faring? <laughs> Holy, that's quite a load you're hauling. Are you okay? 
You inform the guard of the quest you undertook on behalf of Saitoth Trading. Ah, I see. You should be able to get that bug wing from a venom fly. You shake the guard's hand in gratitude for his help and go to finish your task. I already got that bug wing and I've already sold it to the shop. I don't know why it's lagging right now. So anyway, the crawler is back. Uh, we should be good to kill it now. Well, five defense only reduces damage by one. That's kind of sad. Anyway, we're almost up another level, so that's good. Okay, so let's map this little area here. There we go. So level ups for everyone. That's nice. Okay, strength up. And you need more whips. Uh, what was it that we were working towards? What do you need for self? Warlord 7. Uh, that's quite a bit. We also want TP up. Eh, but I'll get that later. It's no good to us right now. And green here. What was Two hits, so we need more gun skill. And you need... More poison. What do you need for corrupt? Curse is six. There we go. Oh, good as new. So yeah, there's another take point there. Oh, that's a chop. Take. There we go. Let's see if we can... See, you notice that that strength up is dramatically increasing the damage that Gunniel is doing, so... We want to just max it up as quickly as possible. Max it up. Max it out. So there we go. And, um, this one gets you better odds of getting good stuff, so I'm gonna put high odds here. Yeah, you're more likely to get the green nuts itself for a lot of money, so. Just a pro tip there. Uh, I know, because I've harvested from it several times. Alright, so we're almost at floor two there. Yeah. Poison them. And we should be good. Yep. We need to fight some more moles though before going on to the next floor. Because they don't show up on the next one, so... 
Yeah, and I actually have my other group do that. So I'm gonna be start. <coughs> I'm gonna start heading back to town. Hopefully, uh, and get some soft. No, not defend. I wanted. To wanted to do something. Oh well. But yeah, I need another soft fur before I go back to town. It will be crucial that I do so. I don't like how guns are slow. Oh, I didn't even need that cure, and I wasted it. Alright, let's see here. I know moles like to appear on this side, I've fought them several times. Oh, and the HP up and TP ups in this game, since I'm thinking about it and nothing else to talk about. Um, they do not give you much of an increase at all. I think it's like a 1%, 2%, 3% in that kind of fashion all the way up to level 10. Um, I, I didn't notice any significant increases until I was almost max done maxing it out. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to speed this up a bit. It's a little slow. I need, need more. Oh, there we go. Sped it up for like two seconds and it's just like, hey, what's up? Uh, let's just press auto. There we go. Alright, guys, and I got the software that I needed. So let's go cash that in. If we can make it back for fighting something. We got them all the same, so no matter. Um, custom? No, wait, not custom. What was I gonna do? Right. Need to change this. Um, music and sound effects are fine. We want this on no wait. And we're good to go. Let's sell all this crap that we've picked up. So we get the hard vest, which is what we wanted. And... How much better is it? That's yeah, 11 defense. So that's better than the weed. But we don't have the money for that, but we want to pick that up. So what I'm going to do now... Switch back to the farmers. I'm going to show this all on, uh, all off on the screen here because it's still fairly early, and who knows? You can maybe see some excitement at getting ambushed by Rafflesia again. So let's hit up. Hoping I could level up my farmers before heading out down here. Probably gonna get ambushed by stuff. Are they strong enough to handle this? Maybe, if I'm lucky. Of course I'm not. Really? Really? What kind of bull crap is this? Okay, just screw it. Run. Can I run? Thank you. Wow, I can't believe I missed that much. Alright, let's grab this stuff and get out of here. Tiny bloom, sour fruit. Come on, give me my green nuts. 
need it for the money. And nothing. Wow. Am I even going to make it back? Maybe. Hopefully. I better. The encounter rate's just spiking. Holy crap. Alright, we made it back, sort of safely. Let's revive. And sell all that stuff. Guess we didn't get more green nuts though, that sucks. Oh, we have some money, so there we go. Now, I'm not going to take Gunniel with me. We need Kaelis. Azurus, Aaron, Lathorn, and Freyus. Right, right. And buy them new equipment. It's not really that much better. No, we need the armor more. So, hard vest. And you need that as well. You can use green leaf? Yeah. And you don't have anything, my goodness. Well, let's get you a leaf boot. And rest at the inn. And then we'll go on to the second floor. Well, they're probably not strong enough for it. Who am I to doubt my own, guys? Alright, let's go on up. At least this group isn't having experience problems. Ignore it. Oh, and this will be the group that I'll use to kill most FOEs. Um, that, well, way sooner than I normally would be able to. Oh, the crawler. Uh, I don't think we need any. Yeah, well, actually, let's throw out some magic on it. And a bravery song. Because, man, my damage sucks. Auto. Come on, take it out. There we go. Phew, that was close. Yeah, their damage is terrible. What is your attack? 25. But we're working you towards useful things. And you're in the wrong spot. Yes, I know, I know. There we go. New floor. Hazardous habitat. Do I want to go this way? I can't remember if there's anything special in here. I think there is. And it's another 3x3 three three room. Fairly standard for entry and Odyssey game. Oh wait, there is a door here. Okay, and looks like it's a 3 by 5 With a door there. There's the venom flies. 
Okay, so let's take it out. Bolt should do wonders here. Okay, good. Just one person's poisoned, I can deal with that. Oh, really? The bolt goes before that. Oh, well, I guess I don't get any special prize. Can't believe that happened. Oh my goodness. But it just goes to show how much faster <coughs> a dagger makes the mages than having to hook with the staff. Okay, now we can just auto. Man, we aren't doing any damage. Did somebody, like, rest all our weapons or something? Okay, I want, I'm, I'll explore a little side stuff later. Anyway, FOE just went right by my face. And room is shaped like... This? with a door on each side. You can see one there and there. So yeah, we have an FOE in here. Not going to fight it. We'd probably we'd definitely get killed. And there's another one right there. Oh man, we were lucky we didn't attack us. And like... Oh, I have the dimensions of the room wrong. Dang it. One more. There we go. So an FOE. Oh. As you walk through the forest, you see something shining in the wall of trees before you. Upon closer inspection, there are a number of shining coins lying amongst the roots. Could another explorer have dropped them? You're tempted to retrieve them, but you have to wonder about the circumstances. Take the coins? Yes. You pick the coins up from the tangled roots of the trees. The total worth is 100 yen. A careless adventurer must have simply dropped them here. Heartened by the lucky find, you return to your investigation. And that's all it is. There's nothing special about that. It's just a flat 100 yen. So, that's always nice. actually increase your strength, it only increases your damage. Ah, throw a heal up on there. Okay, we should be good. And just pop. Stupid shell reducing all the damage that we do to it. Okay, how, where is that FOE sitting at? Right over there? Perfect. So let's go through here. And you'll see that there's a gather point up there, so that's going to be awesome. I'll explore the entire room before going down there. Eh, Cactoid! Uh, I forgot to heal. Defend, defend. Cure. Kill it with fire. Um, okay, we can attack now because defending will not do you any good. Alright, we got it. And it didn't even drop anything, but it's worth quite a bit of experience. Okay, so this is a mine point. We'll be back here with our um, farmers soon. I'll actually try to get there later. I don't have a warp wire. This sucks. I 
and we'll just patrol in that fashion. Um, just in case. There we go. So, there we go. I was going to say, let's just keep going until we fight another one of those. Um, bolt it. Maybe get an attack off. And Kalos is out of magic. That sucks. Not much we can do about it, though. Come on, die already! But yeah, there's our lymph that we want. I want to get five of those, if possible. Should give us access to a new gun. Did we level up? I wasn't paying attention. No, we're almost at level, though. Ah, the cactoid's back, and we don't have any... Uh... Magic for it. Well, we're just gonna have to kill it this way. Bravery isn't really improving your damage that much. Really, game? Okay, let's just escape. I don't want to do that again. Come on, run away, run away. We can do it. Come on, game! I don't want to get a game over here. Thank you. I really should buy warp wires. Alright, let's see if we can make it back without dying. Actually, let's heal up just in case. But yeah, this game is definitely a lot harder <laughs> than the first one at the beginning. <laughs> Which makes me like it that much more. Alright, we didn't even get a single counter down here. And revive. Sleep, and... Yeah, I think that's it. So what awaits us on the next day of the, the labyrinth? And will we find anything worth exploring or picking up or whatever? I don't know. Will we find anything worthwhile? Find out next time on Let's Play Etrian Odyssey 2, the, the Heroes of Lagarde. This has been Paladine 98, and I'll see you on the next one.